Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy to meet you. If you know if you're not new here, I just want to say thank you so much for the recent new subscriber. It means a lot to me guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for um your feedback as well. As I said before, your feedbacks are needed because I want my channel to do well and get better and better in what I do. So please, please, please comment all the time and give me some new ideas or or anything that I need to adjust and suggest and stuff. Okay, so today's project, I will be showing you how I made this marble effect uh, paper and I made some cards. So I use this um, marble paper. I've, um, in this one, I've used some purple and um, beige nail varnish and Use, I'll show you in a minute exactly the, the technique. Now, you can make loads of new different color combinations. Um, I'll show you a few tips for how to get this like effect. So the cards I made, I used this paper. So um, what I wanted to do when I was making these cards, the whole point was to show, showing off the, the actual paper. So I didn't want to use any stamping. Okay, so I made this thinking of your card. Because in here, I don't know, I don't know in camera if it looks like black, but it's like a really deep, dark purple. So I put like a 3D black butterfly in there. And also I use the um, Stampin' Up butterfly punch. And I punch the purple and another one and I just literally cut it in half and glue it. So I like 3D effect. Again, hello card i use the um the little butterfly i like the 3d effect gorgeous look at look at these details they're absolutely amazing really pleased with this also make a thanks card and cue card i use a slightly different uh, lighter version of um cardstock in there you see uh use the purple and more like a pinkish color um, now, some of these um, die, die cards are from Stampin' Up, some of them I bought from Amazon, so I will pull all the links um, down below so if you guys want to purchase them. Um, as I said, the whole point of doing this tutorial was to show off the cards so there is no stamping. Okay, so there is a, the glue still need to dry in here. Uh, congratulations card, so I used the actual negative for the other card when I cut the butterfly off them. So I just used that. Um, one more we love. It's a really pretty card. Look how gorgeous the and I think the marble card was really gorgeous with the butterfly because of the wings, the the actual the actual texture of the card. I think it works really well. And last, happy birthday card. I put um, a little cake. And then again. This will then lift and you get like sort of like a 3d effect okay so this is a bit a messy project so you might get your fingernails a bit dirty so if you do wear really nice posh uh finger like nails just wear gloves i really really recommend that and also use um i'm going to be using today this little plastic container is going straight to the bin because you will get all the nail polish around it so you won't be able to use it again okay so also have different sizes of cards because i will i will show you in a few moments um or different technique okay so we're going to be using this shade we're going to be using red pink and another different like sort of like baby pink so what you simply do you just put if i can open it some of this nail varnish in the tub put red okay now what you can do as well Oops, I dropped my pen. So you can use the either, sorry, separate them like that with a pen or a toothpick or whatever. You see, you create stuff like that. 
this bend is going straight to the bin after. So if you dip it straight like this, you get an effect like that. If you turn it like you do, like you twist your, uh, your wrist in there, you get more like what I call waves. Can you see the difference? So that's literally been tipped straight. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside for a moment. Then let's try again. So I'm gonna twist it and turn it like that. And then what you can do, you like, you dip it and then you lift it up like you scoop it, like a, you scoop an ice cream like that in that in that way or you'll you see because it's still moving I'm gonna have nail varnish on my finger um in that way the nail varnish will act, will basically stick to the paper okay let's top it up now we're gonna put three colors now as I said you can do so many different variation of this so many different colors the next one, what I want to try to do as well, I want to do, I want to do metallic, so like black and gold or black and silver, quite dramatic colour combination. I think I put way too much now. So, let's separate a bit. Okay, because it's quite a lot of colour in there, I'm going to do a, um, like a, turn, a twist. Look how gorgeous it came out. Can you see? Okay, so twist it and twist it. Look how gorgeous the details that you get. It's male, I won't lie to you guys, it's male. It smells like nail varnish. And it goes straight to your finger. So as I said, make sure you use gloves. Now I'm Fortunately, I don't have any glass in, glass in my kitchen, so, and this is exactly what I meant. You see, you've got all the nail varnish just sticking on the, the edge of the border of your container, so make sure you use something that is going straight to the bin. Okay, let's put some more. You don't have to use two colours, you can only use one colour, so let's try with one colour now, because I want to show you guys what, even with one colour, you can do really nice design okay dip 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 and turn and twist look how beautiful that is okay i'll do one more because i don't want this i don't want to bother you okay so let's do red and this little I'm going to need to think. Like that. Now, you can either get a big piece of paper. Now, the awkwardness of that is because it's too big, it's not easy to manoeuvre it, so I'll show you. So you can, you see, only get... But let's say you want to get, like, a, you want to do, like, a really massive card you might just want to do the four corners so what you do you concentrate on the four corners there All right, let's see, see if I can show you exactly what I mean right well, let's bend the camera and then move this a second yes just so you see so you've got the four corners and the, the middle one perfectly empty okay Right. Okay, so ta -da! I hope that'll come out. I'm sure it does. Right, so thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you um enjoy this little tutorial. I, I like marbling. I mean you can you <laughs> on Pinterest it said you can marble everything. It's true. Because I saw on Pinterest I saw people were doing same this this with this technique technique they were the they were doing like mugs, plate, so it's not just, you can use that with paper, you can use just with everything really. Okay, thank you so much for watching guys. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that will mean the world to me. Give me a thumbs up, that will help with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to join me on my Facebook group. We can have some chats there. I'm planning to do a live on, on my Facebook group. So I will see you there, guys. Don't make sure you, you um, join the group and Instagram as well. So thank you so, so much for watching once again. And I will see you very soon.